guys, it's the Amazing Daisy Dollies, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make little Christmas presents, or Christmas parcels, depending on where you're from. This one my grandmother made, and she's actually taught me how to make these, so let's get on to the tutorial. To make these little boxes, you are going to need little boxes. Um, I have this box I got when I got my USB wall charger. I got a toothpick box and I got a gum box. This gum box could be like if your doll got, let's say, a necklace or um, an iPad or something. And this could be like a little bigger present. Um, I'm going to be using this box today. So these ones can go over here. And then you can have wrapping paper because you got wrap presents. Um, I got these ones. This one says, let it snow, Merry Christmas, you know, all that good holiday stuff. This one just says, let it snow. This one says, Merry Christmas. This is really old and it's not been working in the previous attempts. I've tried off camera. So, I am going to be using this one right here. So, okay, for the wrapping part, you are going to need scissors. You are going to need... Uh, wrapping tape, your box, and your paper. So, oh, and also I forgot, we have I have little name tags and stickers that you could put on your packages. So, I'm going to roll out the paper. So it's a big piece. You could, instead of using, you know, such a big piece, you could use, um, What's the word? Uh, leftovers from Christmas Day or, you know, from a birthday party. You could even do this um, for, you know, your doll's birthday, which is pretty cool. So I'm going three squares over. Right there. And then I'm just going to go down. Just like so. And now that we have the paper cut, we're going to move on to the folding. There, there are so many ways to wrap a present. Um, but I'm going to be doing the one I was taught. So, put the box down and I'm going to get a small piece of tape. Emphasis on small. You don't want too big of a piece because you're trying to keep the present as um, realistic as possible. So you kind of want to be small and precise. So there we go. Got that part done. Small piece once again. So then you are going to move on to the sides. I'm going to crease the edges like so. Fold them inwards. I'm not the best at wrapping presents. Um, I'm very clumsy when I do it. I usually like to bend the, bend the little corner in. And get some tape. And tape that right there. So I've got one corner done and I'll do the other corner. So now that I've finished uh, wrapping it, um, I didn't, I should have focused more on the words and got it perfect, but, oh well, nothing's perfect. I'm going to now, uh, show you how to wrap it in ribbon. So, I decided to go with, a uh, red ribbon to make the red on the package stand out. So, I'm going to show you. Always, um, I believe you go this way. No. You start, I always get confused. So, you start out like this, turn the package around, twist them together where they meet, like this, then you bring it up and around, and then you tie. It'd be nice if you had, you know, like a little helper or, you know, have your parents help you. I always tie it in a knot. I cut the ribbon a little too long. Oops. So there you go. And then you can curl the ribbon or 
tie it in a fancy bow. I'm going to curl mine. Well, I tried to curl it the best I could, but I remembered I really can't curl ribbon. <laughs> but it looks like a fancy little bow. So that's what I was going for. So I'm going to wrap the rest of the Christmas packages and I'm going to be back very soon. Streets are crowded, stores are busy. Sipping cocoa, I'm just wishing there'll be a mistletoe so you might kiss me. So, my mom had to come in and help me with the curling of the ribbon because I wasn't quite sure how to do it. But it did turn out really cute. This has to be my favorite present I have made today because it's just so pretty. This, this is a package without the ribbon. It's very plain, but very beautiful. Here's one with the ribbon I curled. <laughs> that, I can curl the ribbon. So, I hope you guys found this helpful and kind of a fun thing to do, you know, after Christmas, you know, with all the torn up wrapping paper, you know. Find little boxes around and wrap them up and make them real pretty. Well, thanks for watching and have a wonderful Christmas. Bye!